splashing, everybody. It is splashing up in here. Come on, girl. There we go. As you may or may not know, every month I try my best to do a silkworm feeding video where we offer all my animals the nutritious silkworms as a food source. But Dion, why do we feed silkworms to our reptiles? And not to mention, they're a lot more expensive than crickets. I'm glad you asked that question. Allow me to explain. You see, silkworms are actually loaded with protein. They have one of the highest levels of protein out of any feeder insect. But that's not the only thing that benefits your animals. You see, silkworms are also loaded with iron, magnesium, vitamin B groups, and a lot of calcium, which is really good for your animal's bones, of course. They also contain an enzyme called serapeptase that helps reduce inflammation to the point where humans actually create pills of it and consume it as a form of medication. Pretty cool stuff. Not to mention they are pretty juicy as far as feeder insects go and that helps keep your pets hydrated. So considering all things, we try to encourage people to use them as not only variety but a healthy option as long as your animals are interested. So today's video is all about that. Going around the reptile room and feeding everybody some delicious silkworms. And with healthy eating and delicious food in mind, I'd like to take a moment to sincerely thank today's video sponsor, HelloFresh. All right guys, let's get right into the video. All right, everybody, it's time to see if the world's favorite little mini dragon wants to eat a silkworm. Hello, Sappy. Would you like a silkworm? There she is. It's up here. Come on up. She really wants it, but she's a bit shy. Come on. You never have an issue with this. There you go. Boop. Oh, there she is eating it right now. Ooh, juicy. Well, friends, this is the Shinisaurus crocodilurus, Chinese crocodile lizard paludarium. You can see lots of fish there in the front. And uh, one of the females, I think, is just over here hiding in that cork ground. So let's see if we can offer her some silkworms. Let's see if we can get her to climb up a bit for us. Oh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, here we go. Oh, nice, girl. Wow, okay. That's a happy lizard. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh. Ah, uh, guys, perfect. Look who's out. It's my male. Come on, buddy. You want a silkworm? You got it. Wow, look at those scales. Truly a little dinosaur. Hey, Mr. Teeks. Look at this handsome toke gecko enjoying the rays. Hey, buddy. He's looking at the reflection. What are you doing? It's up here. It's over here. Come on. Look at him. He's looking at the reflection. <laughs> Tiki, come on. Here we go. Here he is. There we go. Later, Gator. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Teeks. No, no, no. This isn't for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is for Torch, buddy. Go, 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 go down. Uh, torch. Come on out. Oh, good girl. 
Look at this Toki party over here. Ah, oh, Tiki, you're hilarious. All right, Mr. Teeks. Oh, gosh. Take the rest. Yikes. That was nasty. Hey, everybody. Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Looking for a spring refresh? Try something new. Take your taste buds on a trip and explore different global flavors from your dinner table with HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick and easy recipes that minimize prep and make cleanup a breeze. HelloFresh recipes feature produce that goes from the farm to your front door in under a week, which means their spring menu features the season's freshest flavors. Now, some of you may or may not know that I've been dealing with COVID the last few days, and I'm incredibly grateful to have been receiving my HelloFresh meal kits over and over the last while so that I don't have to be able to figure out how I'm gonna cook for myself at home. Having the opportunity to receive fresh ingredients at my front door so that I'm able to cook healthy meals for myself and recover quickly has been such a privilege and I'm so thankful for HelloFresh. So there you go everybody. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code Reptiliatus16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Oh, that's good. That is very good. You can find more information in the video description. Thank you so much again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm going to go ahead and eat this Moroccan spiced chicken and get back to work. Well, let's go. Here comes the boy. <laughs> hey, T, how's it going, buddy? Oh, you're so cute, dude. Oh, there you go, buddy. Enjoy that silkworm. It's actually so hilarious how he just always runs away with the food and eats it in private. I mean, I don't blame you, buddy. You do your thing. You want another one, little buddy? Come on. Yup, come on out. <laughs> those eyes. Every time, those eyes. Ah, oh, dude, you're hilarious. Ooh, E.T., what are you doing? Ugh, go eat that off camera. We do not need to see that, dude. Ah. He's cute, but not to the silkworms, that's for sure. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all if you could only own one reptile or amphibian for the rest of your life, but that pet would live with you till the end of your life. What would it be and why? Hard decision to make, but whenever I do a Q&A on Instagram, for some reason, everybody loves asking me if I could only keep one of my pets, what would it be? And that question is very hard. So now it's my turn to ask you all, because for me, as hard as it would be to decide, I think it probably would be Sabzi. Uh, yeah. It would, it would be Sabzi. She's just so personable and interactive, and as much as Basil is too, she's like the OG for that kind of animal. So I love all my pets so much, but if I really had to think about it, it, it would probably be Sabzi. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give you a comment at heart, and we can hopefully engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks everyone. All right guys, now it's time to see what Sabzi makes of some tasty silkworms. So we're gonna go ahead here and offer her some, see what she thinks. As you can see, the top of her head is kind of dark because she's actually shedding right now. Hello, madame. How you doing? Have a look at the beautiful scalation on her body. Isn't it incredible? She is absolutely gorgeous. Where are you going, girl? All right, let's see. Hi. Up here. Oh, I think she got it. Yep. She got it all right.
Well, she definitely like that. Hello, Mr. Basil. Let's give this boy a nice silkworm. Come on. Pearly whites. Mr. Basil. Was that good, buddy? As you can imagine, what would a silkworm feeding video be without offering a silkworm in the ball of of enrichment? It's key. So hopefully he doesn't freak out from this. We're gonna set it down like that and then see what he makes of it. Now he sees it. Mr. Basil, what's the game plan here, buddy? You can probably taste it. It's like, oh, there's something in there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, well, that wasn't as hard as it could have been. Oh, geez. Oh, goodness. That was maybe, oh my gosh, that was not a good idea. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, major instant regret. That is really messed up. I am sorry, everybody. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, well, there we go. I don't know, dude. You might have just won the trophy from Sabzi. We might have to move it to your enclosure for being the grossest stream on it. That, that was partially my fault. That was a narrow space. Not what I was looking for. I was hoping you would use your hand. Ugh. All right, guys. So Pingu is over here. We got Rambo over here. Um, well, I think most of us by now know that, gosh, she's going for the shadow. Pingu never turns down a good silkworm. She absolutely loves these things. Okay, well, let's try this like that. I'm gonna leave this silkworm over here and hope that Pingu back there comes over to get it. She loves her silkworms. Enjoy, girl. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, I want to see if maybe we can get Leela to eat one. It's been a while. She usually likes them too. So Leela's out here eating her dish of Pangea. Now looks like she's running away. I was hoping to convince her to walk over here and eat a silkworm, but we'll have to see what happens. She's eyeing it. Yes. Yes, okay. You'll love to see it, Leela. Now, since we have exactly two silkworms left, I figured it's only fair that we give each of the Toke twins one. So let's go ahead and do that now. Hey guys, do you want a silkworm? Come on over. Here. Here you go. Nice. Nom nom nom. Good stuff. Would you like one too? Here. Hey! Be nice. There you go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that pretty toke. Wonderful. 
All right. And before we wrap up today's video, I want to take a sincere moment to thank all my patrons over on the Patreon platform. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm so appreciative of your support. It means so much to me. And the things I'm able to achieve on this channel, thanks to your support. For example, purchasing all those filters last video. That was thanks to my patrons. It really does go a long way and you can see the fruits of your generosity in the reptile room here. So thank you so much. You already know all the perks associated with becoming a patron, all the sneak peeks, the thank you letter cards for $5 and up tiers, and more. The personal shout outs on each video when you become a new patron. And with that being said, today we're taking a moment to sincerely thank Kevin, my newest patron. Thank you so much, Kevin, for becoming a patron of Reptiliatus channel. I'm looking forward to having a direct line of communication with you and chatting on there. If you're interested in learning about how you can support Reptiliatus for as little as $2 a month, you can check out the link down below in the video description. Thank you. Well, friends, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. It's always fun to show you guys the value of adding these insects to your animal's feeding schedule. Remember, variety, it can be so beneficial, especially Especially when insects like this offer your animal delicious nutrients. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see you all in our next video. If you want to see more silkworm feeding videos, check out the playlist up above. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video again soon. Take care.